um, one thing that I want to talk about is uh, how was Quran revealed? Uh, how did it come? Uh, uh, how did it start altogether? So, Quran was revealed in three stages. Okay. Uh, first one is called Lawh <coughs> al Mahfuz, the the preserved tablet, the preserved book. So what is Lawh al Mahfuz? It is the mother of all books. It's it's a very grand book which Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has in His possession. This particular book, in fact, you know, the first thing to be created, what was it? Pen. The pen. And then Allah Subhanahu wa Taala commanded the pen to write to write a few things and uh, the pen wrote everything that Allah commanded in a book and that book is called Lawh al-Mahfur and this book has everything that you can imagine it has about you and me what we will do how much we will earn how much when we will die every person from even every creature and part of it is also Quran the Quran was also there so that is the first stage when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed unto Lawh al-Mahfur <coughs> And then we have uh, Al Bayt Al Izza. Quran was revealed unto Bayt Al Izza. That's the second stage. And we recite that verse very often, right? Quran was revealed in the, light, in the night of Qadr. Night of uh, the uh, Layl. The, this, this whole Quran in one piece, it was revealed on the night of Laylatul Qadr in Ramadan. In Baytul Izza. What is this Baytul Izza? It is called the House of Honor. This house, uh, just like we have Kaaba on this earth, it's a house of Allah, right? In, on the in the lowest heaven, there is this house, which is called Al Baytul Izza. That's the place where this Quran was revealed by Allah Subhanahu wa Taala on the night of Qadr. And uh, the third, then we we say that that, that, well, that was the one that we were talking that Angel Jibril salam revealed. The Quran to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and this happened for how many years? Twenty-three years. Unlike Baitul Izza, everything was revealed in one time, and uh, it this particular was split up in bits and pieces for twenty-three years. The other books, if you see, apart from Quran, the Torah, the Injil, all of them. How many years did it take for that to get revealed? It was in one shot. It was instant. It was one particular time that happened. It, it didn't go through like 23 years like Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Quran had an honor that it was revealed in bits and pieces. And we will see what, why it was done like that, particularly to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. By the way, Quran is the only one, as we said, but the wisdom that scholars said that there are a lot of wisdom, why that it was broken down into 23 years when Baytul Izza it was revealed on Baytul Izza why didn't it come directly on earth and to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam one of them benefits the blessings is that the strengthening of the heart so you know in the, those days the Quraysh when they used to live in Mecca Muslims used to be persecuted by the Meccans the pagans and they used to mock at them punish them physically so whenever these things happened, they would, their morale would go down. They would feel insulted, humiliated. So whenever Quran was revealed, little by little, whenever it happened, they would instantly get, you know, refreshed, and their iman will boost, and it strengthened their heart. So that's that. That was one wisdom of it. If Quran was revealed on the first day of prophethood, you know, that strengthening of the heart might not be there because now they are getting, you know, like it's like a meal for them, spiritual meal every now and then. So that was one, one wisdom. And also, <clears throat> the memorization. You know, Quran was, now we have this whole Quran and we are told memorize. It's so difficult, right? Like the whole book of one day, I can't memorize in one day. But for them, you know, the verses was used to reveal like approximately five verses, you can say, average. And uh, people would ask, oh, is there a new verse? And they would say, okay, this, these are the five, six verses uh, Prophet Musa Salam got revelation from. And they would memorize it instantly so their memorization process was like 23 years it was split so it was very easy for them to do that and also they wouldn't just memorize it they would look those five verses they will try to understand it implement it in their lives and that's the reason they even had the context of it when it was revealed and they would it was very easy for them to implement it 
and they were you know the best uh, mufassir you can say they they knew everything about the verse because they got it piece by piece <clears throat> and also the truthfulness of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh the, the the kuffar they used to challenge prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam oh okay you you think you're smart and prophet okay we have this question for you oh, tell us about ruh tell us about the people of the cave they would ask so many different questions and prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam people knew that he wouldn't know so he would ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wallah i need answer for this and allah would reveal it in the form of uh, verses from quran so that would prove the truthfulness of prophet so if quran was revealed in once in the first day that that uh, you know benefit will be lost isn't it so now you are answering one on one to this kuffar that hey i got answer from allah so now I, it proves that i am truthful that's what the prophet did also <coughs> miraculous nature that quran was revealed in so many different years yet it do, not a single verse contradicts with each other you know if something is spread out so much it is very easy you can find some uh, controversies in there but Quran has this special status that it doesn't contradict at all and ease of conversion also our mother Aisha radhiyallahu anha she says that if the verses of prohibition of alcohol or the beer was revealed on the very first day people wouldn't have accepted Islam so that's what she's saying that there's a reason Quran reveals slowly slowly little by little one by one stage by stage and the commands got added up so the uh, initially what was the ruling that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has just said that you know alcohol it has good and bad but the sin is more and then in the second stage he said that don't approach your prayer while you're intoxicated that was the second stage and the third finally it was completely banned and you know, it's come from shaitan this intoxication and uh, this Uh, gambling and so so will you not just stay away from it so that that was it came step by step so people got it so if the very first day it was revealed then it was people would be like oh islam is so much thing i am not i don't want to follow so hmm? yeah uh, subhanallah subhanallah yeah that's it's uh, uh, for that particular uh, stage uh, you know that was the basic foundation of islam they didn't have any state they don't have any framework at all and that that's why allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had special uh, mercy and ease on those people that it was very easy for them to convert and also ease of revelation we said that the quran itself was such a heavy thing he would feel so burdened because of that because it is a heavy message So if Quran was revealed all at once it would have been very very difficult he had mercy on him and he revealed it in stages <clears throat> but you know some people might say hey, other prophets were given this privilege everything came at once our prophet doesn't have it the scholar said that no our prophet also has it how everything was revealed in one time one night right baitul izza so prophet musa so not only resembles in other prophets but also this way as well So Baitul Izza that was that happened on the night of Khadr in one one night. The first verse what is the first verse that was revealed? Iqra bismi rabbikal ladhi khalaq. And what's the uh, last verse? <coughs> the strongest opinion there are a lot of opinions but I'll take the strongest opinion from Sahih Bukhari Sahih al-Bukhari and from from Ibn Abbas. Let me recite it to you. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem. وَاتَّقُوا يَوْمًا تُرْجَعُونَ فِيهِ إِلَى اللَّهِ ثُمَّ تُوَفَّى كُلُّ نَفْسٍ مَا كَسَبَتْ وَهُمْ لَا يُظْلَمُونَ This is a verse from 281. From which surah? There is one surah with 281. Uh, surah Al-Baqarah. Uh, the translation of this is that and fear a day when you will be returned to Allah then every soul will be compensated for what it earned and they will not be treated unjustly that is the verse the last verse that was revealed and it is said that 9 days after this verse was revealed prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam passed away went into the different world the 9 days there was a difference that was the strongest opinion some of the other opinions are also there but all of them were near this verse number 281 like the that the longest verse that we said as the, some said that that is also uh, one hadith but the one that i recited is 
the strongest of all. So, <clears throat> so this is um, the need for knowing the order of revelation. Why do we care about this? Because that's how we. It helps us understand. There are few verses which are abrogated, and some of them were like uh, came later on. So we need to know. Like in fact, uh, it said that uh, the the companion uh, Ali radiallahu anhu he had a Quran that was revealed in order of uh, revelation. So like we have in the order of whatever Prophet Musa decided, but he had this. If but unfortunately that that one is lost. We don't have it. We would, that would have been very great for us because that would give us the context and what exactly situations those things arrived. Now we have the Mufassirs giving us all those details, but if we had such information, that would be great. But it also helps us understand the evolution of fiqh and all the commands and prohibitions. So that, that is important.